Hello Pisces, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Pisces, this is your reading uh, for the near future and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Pisces, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube Pisces, what I'm going to do is I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what is your energy for the near future. Uh, what are the messages regarding your career and your money? I'm pulling out separate cards for career and money because I have received a lot of requests in the comment section that I will, I should be pulling out, at least in a couple of readings, I should be pulling out uh, separate cards for finance and money section. So I'm doing that now in this reading. I'll also pull out separate cards for love and relationships. Okay, so we'll see what is your energy. We'll see the messages around career and money. And we'll also see messages around your love life. Okay, so let's get started now, Pisces. So Pisces, what is your energy for the near future? Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, amazing, and Ten of Cups. Wow, like literally wow. Don't even worry about Ten of Swords. It is signifying an end and this is getting confirmed with Ace of Pentacles next to Ten of Swords. So definitely a new beginning is happening and definitely something is ending. I'll pull out, I'll use another deck, okay, for money and love. So what do you need to know? <clears throat> Pisces, when it comes to your career, your money, what do you need to know? When it comes to your career, your money, what do you need to know? Six of Wands. Then we have uh, Knight of Swords death and rebirth and we have got oh two extra cards eight of wands and ace of swords okay so what do you need to know regarding what do you need to know regarding your love life what do you need to know regarding your love life what do you need to know regarding your love life five of wands empress magician and then oh, oh my god ten of cups again are you kidding me pisces and then this one extra card wants to come out wow like wowza i am so happy there are so many tens <laughs> wow we have one two and three so as far as your energy is concerned ten of swords ace of pentacles and ten of cups okay so this is your energy spread as far as your career and your money is concerned we have eight of wands ace of swords we have ace over here as well death and rebirth knight of swords and six of wands okay so this is your career and your money spread As far as love is concerned, Five of Wands, Empress, the Magician, Ten of Cups, and then we have Knight of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? This is so, so, so wonderful. Like, trust me, Pisces. All the cards are so freaking wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Okay. Even before proceeding, I would like to say claim the message in the comment section. Okay. All right. So Pisces, uh, the zodiac signs that are going to be important for you are Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, Gemini. I'm getting Virgo quite often nowadays. Like I believe like many zodiac signs are going to find Virgo as their partners. Okay, or even Gemini. <clears throat> Scorpio, uh, Cancer in some cases, mainly Scorpio. Uh, Sagittarius I see a very strong fighting spirit over here alright Pisces uh, 
uh, you might be seeing a lot of 11 11 you might be seeing a lot of 555 and number six is of some importance right so ten of swords ace of pentacles and ten of cups and like I said as far as your energy is concerned definitely there is an end of something and what is ending a dark period in your life is coming to an end okay and this is simply getting validated with ace of pentacles next to ten of swords okay so ace of pentacles is denoting a solid new beginning okay and then the following card is ten of cups of course you will find a lot of joy ultimate joy and happiness in this new beginning that is going to happen definitely a painful cycle is coming to an end if there were kind of uh, toxic situations or people in your life that is coming to an end for many of you pisces i also see that you might distance yourself somewhere you might start planning relocation or you might uh, have got relocated already or you might have applied for relocation and you're waiting for some kind of approval visa approval or something okay so i also feel like you're about to start this new beginning somewhere else for some of you okay or maybe for a couple of you you're going to find a partner and then you'll get relocated with with that person or you'll get married and then you'll move along with that person so ten of swords ace of pentacles and ten of cups i clearly see a transition happening over here okay the transition is moving from a not so happy phase a painful phase to finding ultimate happiness to finding ultimate joy okay and also stability and for many of you i see that there is a solid manifestation that is going on around happiness and money i don't know what you are doing pisces at a subconscious level you are manifesting happiness you are manifesting true joy you are manifesting financial stability or prosperity it depends upon which stage of uh, uh, finances you are okay but what i see over here is there is a lot of stability that is coming your way what i see over here is especially if you were struggling around your finances you will see a jump in your finances okay ten of cups is also indicating in fact pisces what i see is like things will happen almost everything will happen at the same time in next couple of months you will notice like things are happening back to back or they are happening at the same time you're going to meet someone significant and you will right away you will understand like this is a significant person in my life this is going to be a significant person i'm going to have a future with this person after that immediately you will see jump in your finances or something something positive will happen after that you'll immediately notice that people who are not good for you are getting removed from your life I also see you making new friends, you making expanding your network, you meeting more people, you forming new friendships, okay? Uh, and instant connection is not going to happen just in in uh, a romantic situation. You will also find that you are getting instantly connected with your prospective friends. Okay, people who are going to become friends, long-term friends in your life, you'll notice that you are forming an instant connection or a bond with that person. Okay, so things are happening instantly in your life. Okay, there is a great speed that is attached. Let's talk about about your career and your money. Three of uh, three of wands, sorry, not three, eight of wands. Then we have ace of swords, death and rebirth, knight of swords, and six of wands. So first of all, Pisces, the kind of energy i'm getting from this spread is if you're doing something and if you're feeling like i'm putting in so much of work and nothing is happening should i give up on this career should i give up on this situation the message over here is don't give up don't give up what you want is just round the corner okay if you give up right now you will miss something really big that is meant to come with with eight of wands and especially with death and rebirth 
I feel like there's a major transition that is about to happen in your career and your financial situation. Eight of Wands and Knight of Swords are indicating something happening really fast. Okay, say for example, you are doing a career, you are you are doing alternative, you are doing multiple careers. You are doing a nine to five job, and at the same time, you are running a YouTube channel. You're running a YouTube channel and you're expecting that my my channel will get picked up and things will start happening and, you know, I will be this, uh, uh, um, I'll have subscribers and I will be able to make this as a consistent source of income for myself and then I'll give up my 9 to 5 job and something like that. But you are noticing since last couple of months or since the time you have started uh, that you're simply putting in efforts but nothing is working out. Okay, and you are thinking like, I have been putting so much of consistent efforts and things are not working out in my life. Uh, so what should I do? Should I stop working towards this YouTube channel or should I stop putting efforts? Like there is an energy that you are slightly feeling hopeless about the situation. You have started losing certain hope. But this spread is absolutely an indication that success is just around the corner. Do not give up. In next couple of months, you will see a major hike, a major spike in whatever you're doing. The money that is going to come towards you is going to be humongous. Okay, and it is coming fast. It is coming unexpected. With Six of Wands, I also see that some of you are going to experience a lot of name, fame and reputation. Uh, at least within your community or maybe I don't know if you are on social media platform you will experience that name fame reputation globally as well you will have a lot of subscribers you will have a lot of people subscribing to your channel and showing interest in you and uh, if, if, if you are uh, doing a 9 to 5 job you will notice that your boss and not just your boss your boss's boss or the top management is actually pretty much impressed with your diligence and your hard working attitude your sincerity and your out of the box solutions and you overcoming challenges you working so hard towards everything someone is pretty much impressed okay and because of that some kind of reward reputation is coming towards you Keep on checking your inboxes. Your inbox is going to be very important. Something that is some good news that is going to come towards you. It will come via email for many of you. For some of you, it will be also a telephonic uh, communication. I don't know. I'm hearing that some sort of good news is coming towards you. Keep on checking your mailboxes. Okay. For some of you people who are already into business, I see it's growing. But then with death and rebirth, I'm also hearing that some kind of changes or tweaks are needed in your business the way you approach it if you're feeling like i'm putting in a lot of efforts but things are not working this is especially applicable for people who are entrepreneurs or running your own business okay if you're feeling like i'm putting in so much of efforts and literally nothing is happening it's not working in my favor then maybe the way you're approaching that business the way you're doing things Maybe some kind of changes are needed over there. Or maybe I'm also hearing with Six of Wands, the kind of publicity of, or marketing you should be doing. Okay, that is kind of, you need to either seek help from someone, some professional, okay, who will help you out in publicizing your business or marketing your business. Maybe that is needed. More exposure is needed is what I'm getting. More and more exposure is needed towards your business and towards whatever you're doing. I am hearing that if you want your business to grow, maybe marketing, more marketing skills are needed or some kind of changes in marketing and publicizing your product or your services. Some more efforts are needed over there. I'm hearing this word marketing again and again. You need to put in more efforts over there. As far as money is concerned, uh, money is coming towards you. Pisces money is definitely coming towards you but also make sure that you don't become a spendthrift 
okay you don't become like your you don't be like you know oh so much of money has come towards me so I, I'm gonna go and buy some Prada shoes and bags and something like that okay I mean let that increased amount of money come towards you in that proportion consistently okay then you can think about upgrading your lifestyle today say for example again a hypothetical example if you're making hundred dollars a month and if your income increases to one thousand dollar a month this is a hypothetical example it may vary from person to person it may be less it may be more okay so uh, so if your income jumps to one thousand dollars per month don't spend that entire one thousand dollars thinking like oh this is the kind of income I'm gonna make every single month you will make that but expect certain minor fluctuations as well make sure that the kind of money that is coming towards you that amount is coming towards you consistently so for some of you you need to control your spending habits you need to control your emotions when you're gonna see so much such a humongous amount of money in your bank account you need to control those emotions you need to really think about splurging huge amount of money you need to ask that do I really uh, do I really need that and if you're splurging make sure that you have that much amount of bank balance okay in your account that you don't feel the pinch when you're splurging that much amount of money okay you don't feel guilty okay uh, you will spend some money on traveling travel is pretty likely Pisces okay in the next couple of months travel is pretty likely let's talk about your love life now we have five of wands empress magician ten of cups and knight of pentacles Pisces. trust me okay you experienced so much of struggle in your love life and the payback time has arrived okay the payback time has definitely arrived someone is manifesting you Pisces I believe the time to meet your soulmate the time to meet your ultimate person is not far away people who are manifesting uh, becoming a parent okay I think so that manifestation is also about to, uh, is also about to get fulfilled in 2023 for some of you it may happen that uh, you get into a connection things develop between you and this person pretty soon the female partner becomes pregnant this is again applicable for people who want to become pregnant okay or who want to have kids the female partner in the connection becomes pregnant very soon and then afterwards I see that in next couple of months there afterwards you guys will decide to get married I see Pisces for some of you you're gonna have kids before marriage and uh, you are manifesting your soul partner your uh, partner is manifesting you Pisces so I see a steady growth in your love life okay this pass this person may be uh, uh, they may be a combination of earth air and water okay this person may have some strong placements of earth air and water in their chart uh, I see lot of stability and lot of longevity in this connection Pisces okay if this is a female she possibly might be having blonde hair okay not necessarily possibly uh, if this is a male they might have uh, shoulder length hair I don't know why I'm getting this message about hair but they might have shoulder length hair by the way and this person most likely if this is a male they likely uh, wear shorts all the time I mean comfortable shorts okay or even the travel shorts I don't know shorts or knee length whatever whatever you guys call it pants it differs from country to country the word differs uh, in every single culture some people call it as <laughs> knee length shorts or some people call it as knee length pants and something I've read it <laughs> Uh, but that is what they they like to wear I 
This person hates to wear full pants, formal or otherwise, or jeans. They don't like to wear that. And they wear it very rarely. If this is a female, she likes to wear loose clothes. She doesn't like to wear body hugging clothes. Possibly, I, this person might be from, I'm hearing San Francisco again and again. West Coast. This person might also be from Australia, Hawaii. Okay. Where there is a lot of humidity. Uh, Singapore is what I'm hearing and I'm hearing Chennai. Uh, the coastal area of India. For some of you, Bombay as well. Although Five of Wands is indicating struggle, but I think so. This is a past energy, Pisces. This is something that you have experienced in the past, and now the time has come to experience everything that is so positive. Okay, so struggle around your love life is kind of over. Okay, with two Ten of Cups, I definitely see marriage in the cards for many of you. You might get married by the end of 2023 or in 2024, but marriage is there long-lasting situations are about to happen the worries what i'm getting over here is the worries around your love life are ending okay all right pisces i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks uh, think and feel about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care and have a great time ahead pisces Bye bye